Reform UK leader and new GB News recruit Richard Tice is here on his first official day at Britain's News Channel. Richard, it is great to have you. Great to be here. And it was a lot of fun uh, doing Nigel's show. He's out fishing down in Cornwall. He's put you to work. He, and he, yeah, he's put me to work day. on my first day. <laughs> well, you were absolutely seamless and honestly, it's so great to have you here officially. I know you've been on our show a lot, but to have you officially part of the family. Uh, but look, Albion Leo popped down to the Rona March in London on Saturday. And I had to show you, Richard, what these guys got up to. What else do you miss about the EU? Um, oh. We're not celebrating anymore. I miss things like being able to order from abroad. I tried to order a tablecloth from Germany. They, you know, it can't come to us, unfortunately. Customs and all that. All the red tape that's come in since Brexit. And I miss the economic prosperity that we had. The other countries seem to have recovered a lot better from it than we have. Germany's in a recession, though, and we're not. So how, how is that true? Uh, I'm not an economist. <laughs> Richard, I mean, that was what, just What do we feel now? Pity? Pity? Are we that at that just, point? just absurd. I'm not an economist. I put an economic view out there. I get challenged on it. I get it wrong. Oh, I'm not an economist. I mean, honestly, it's just absurd. And as for that dancing, I mean, as long as they don't go anywhere near Strictly Come Dancing, I mean, otherwise that would be the death of the BBC if I haven't said, look, but this was a flop, right? Because no, they was, were talking about tens flop. of thousands. It was such a flop, actually, the main players had to put dodgy photos from previous marches four years ago because they were so embarrassed by how few people turned up. Complete flop. And all of a sudden, we've now got a situation where the Liberal Democrats, they don't know whether they're in, they're out. But they won't even in. say it. They won't even say it. They won't even say it. We know they're about rejoin, but they know it's electorally toxic. So I guess in some ways you can say you have won the argument if you compare where we are now to the 2019 election. Look, I, I think what, what's actually happening is the country wants to move on in any walk of life. If you're going to do a job, for heaven's sake, do it properly. My criticism has been that the opportunity is still a great opportunity but you've got to take advantage of it. We've just seen a few sort of healthy morsels and nibbles of, uh, of opportunity of success that are coming through. But there's so much more that we can done, uh, do. But you've got to have a government that actually believes in Brexit. Mm. And some very strange things are happening. Uh, the Tories have just selected, I think, today or over the weekend, uh, someone who is a complete Ramona and who says is Brexit is a complete Cracknell? disaster. James Cracknell. And you're thinking, hey, what... Why are they doing that? They obviously, they're, essentially, they're giving up on it, and they're quite happy to betray it. That is worrying. Uh, look, got to move to the national emergency now. Even if the rest of the MSM tries to ignore it, fifteen migrants have had to have their ages reassessed after posing as children. There's going to be many more than fifteen who are doing this, Richard. So, how can we counter this tactic? And would you support mandatory age testing? Why not? It happens in so many other walks of life. The, 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 the way you do a scan, I think, on a wrist, you know, it's, it's quite standard stuff. It's incredibly accurate. You can do it in, in... And they do it in Europe. They do it in Europe. You can do it in, in rapid order. Why don't we do this stuff? I'll tell you why. Because the, the Home Office people are either incompetent or actually it's deliberate. Either way, it's completely unacceptable. And what you're actually doing here, let's be clear, if you're putting adults into uh, classrooms of secondary age children in schools, you're putting those children at risk. It's a safeguarding issue. And we've seen that. We've seen it. Turn it's very, very dangerous. Very nasty. And you know, it's, it's completely unacceptable. And the Home Office has got to get their act together. Or otherwise, frankly, just demolish it and start again with a whole new competent Department of Immigration. That's our preferred plan. Mm, well, that would be the best plan. Uh, look, these poor people in Chichester, West Sussex, are just absolutely paranoid about what's going to happen to their lovely community because their three-star hotel closed, turned into a migrant centre, and locals, you won't be surprised, Richard, furious, and they're hitting the venue with protests. So are they right that the UK homeless should be housed before illegal arrivals? They're right in so many ways, and we're seeing these, uh, these protests appear everywhere. I was down in Thlenethly just last week, where actually local residents have stopped a hotel from being, becoming a migrant hotel. They've been camping out overnight over the entrance for some 10 or 11 weeks successfully. This is going on all over the country. More and more residents 
British citizens are saying, enough is enough. We're not having that here. And yeah, you've got, you've got to stop it. And the, the best way to stop it, of course, is to deal rapidly with the backlog. We know that the vast, vast majority are economic migrants or chances, sadly, in some cases, we know that actually they have ill intent, joining gangs of, of drug dealers and things. So the British people want this stopped and they want it stopped now. And, you know, what you're seeing coming across from North Africa through Lampedusa mm -hmm. into Italy, Mark White's down there. I mean, this is this is just the beginning. I asked the question on my show this evening. What does this look like in six or 12 months time? And I tell you, it does not look pretty because I think this grows and we need some proper leadership. Someone who's prepared to have the guts to pick up and take back. Wonder who you could be, Richard. Uh, but of course, while you're here, uh, you're part of the GB News family, so you will be on on this show I'll be, uh, every week. I'm going to be on your show every week. I'm doing Nigel's show the whole of this week Great. whilst he's on holiday and much more besides. Great. So seven o'clock. Tomorrow night, Tomorrow night at GB News, you get Tice in for Farage. Who could be better?